there's no need to get tense. Relax, relax, condense. Subscribe, baby, subscribe. Here's a modern wall outlet. Notice that of the two top slots, the one on the right is smaller. This is called a polarized outlet, and a polarized plug can only be inserted one way. The smaller slot on the right is the hot terminal, and the larger slot on the left is the neutral terminal. The rounded hole underneath is the ground. Your home's wiring connects these terminals to an electrical panel. In the panel, the hot and neutral wires connect to the outside power lines, and the neutral and ground wires connect to a metal rod buried in the ground outside your home. Let's use the example of a toaster to demonstrate why things are wired this way. The toaster's heating elements connect to the hot and neutral lines through the power cord. Also through the power cord, the metal cabinet of the toaster is connected to the ground line. If too many appliances are connected to the outlet, the wiring can overheat because more amps are drawn than what the wiring can handle. This can start a fire, as can a short circuit. To prevent this, a circuit breaker in the panel senses when current is too high and cuts the power. In the unlikely event that the circuit breaker fails, some of the excess current will be diverted to the ground rod in the earth, which can also help prevent a fire. Ground rods also absorb voltage spikes from the power lines or nearby lightning. If a wire breaks inside an appliance, the power lines can come in contact with the metal case. If both the hot and neutral lines break and come in contact with the metal, it creates a short circuit and the breaker will trip. If only the hot line comes in contact with the metal case, the breaker still trips because there is a short circuit between the hot line and the ground line, which is connected to the neutral line at the panel. This is why modern appliances with metal cases have polarized three-prong grounded plugs. With a two-prong plug, no ground connection exists between the metal case and the ground terminal, so if the hot line breaks and touches the case, and a person also touches the case, especially if they're in bare feet or somewhere damp, they'll receive a shock. That's because the person completes the connection between the hot and neutral line through the earth ground, and unfortunately because the resistance of the earth path is so high, the circuit breaker is unlikely to trip. This is extremely dangerous because, as we've learned, when high voltage passes through a person's heart, it can stop beating. Modern two-prong plugs do offer some margin of safety because they're polarized and can only be inserted one way. This allows appliances to be wired so that the hotline is always connected to the power switch. So, when the appliance is turned off, there's no possibility that the hot side can come in contact with the metal case. If the neutral side touches the case when the hot is turned off, there's no shock risk because the earth is only connected to neutral and there's no path through the person to hot. To make our All-American 5 radio safer, we need to update its wiring to more closely meet modern standards. The plug needs to be polarized and the circuit needs to be rewired so that the chassis is always connected to ground. In addition, we need to wire the hotline to the switch so it's out of circuit when the radio is turned off. Adding a fuse won't hurt either. We'll do all that in our next video. To stay updated, please subscribe and click the bell. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I'll see you soon.